Good evening and welcome to the Manila Times TV's newest show, Congress Diary. Good evening and welcome to the Manila Times TV's Congress Diaries. I'm your host, Kim Bernardo Lokin. Now, all contracts between the government and the private sector are now under scrutiny. The order to review alleged onerous contracts came from the president himself. This was sparked by the president's anger over the contract between the government and water concessionaires Manila Water and Mainilad. Under that contract, the government is obligated to pay for the losses incurred by the two water concessionaires caused by government interference in the setting of water rates. And of course, that did not sit well with the president who declared that it was an onerous contract. Now, several members of the House of Representatives have filed resolutions and uh, they are seeking a review of the concession agreements with both Manila Water and Mainilad. Now, the question for tonight is how onerous or one-sided are these contracts which have been extended up to 2037 or if there's really no irregularity in itself? Well, we'll discuss this issue along with other issues with our guest tonight, Attorney Larry Gadon. Good evening, Attorney yeah, uh, Gadon. Good evening, Kong Kim, and uh, thank you for inviting me here. Yes, and uh, maraming salamat at pinaunlakan mo kami because this particular issue, medyo mabigat talaga eh. And that's oh. why we really need a lawyer uh, like you to help us uh, thresh it out. No? Okay. okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll start, Attorney Gadon. Uh -oh. Ito nga bang sinasabi ni Presidente na ito na uh, automatic review. That is, a, um, that is the right of government, isn't yes. it? Yes, oh, 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 that oh. is the right of the government. And uh, considering that uh, there is already a national emergency, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Tagalogin ko, meron ng isang matinding problema ang nararanasan ng mga, Pilip ng mga tao ngayon, mm -hmm. uh, particularly dito sa uh, Metro Manila and uh, the suburbs. No? Mm -hmm. Dahil na... Sa tubig? Uh, sa, yung tubig, naka-experience tayo uh, most particularly last year, no? And even several years sa prior to, uh, to this, na talagang mahirap na ang supply ng tubig. Mm -hmm. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because the level of our source of water, yes. the level is only good for the population in 1997. Oh. And from that time, from 1997, wala pang bagong source of water. Kaya ang nangyayari ngayon, there are uh, cities... Uh, that uh, experience uh, reduction of water supply by at oh. least 50%. Yes, In yes. fact, yung aking uh, mga kaibigan dyan sa San Jose del Monte, Rasyon ang tubig nila. Ang rasyon nila, ang tubig nila, imagine, they will reduce by 52%. From, uh, from 100% from uh, supply, naging 52%. Mm -hmm. And uh, like for example, in, in, uh, in Manila, in, uh, in Makati, the reduction was about anywhere from 35% to 40%. Uh, 5%. Oo, ang laki. Ang pinakamataas na naging reduction yung uh, San Jose del Monte. Oo. Ay, and yun yung yun nagre-reklamo pa nga yung aking mga kaibigan. At kaibigan natin, si Larida, at saka si, Art, si Mayor Art, Oo. at saka si Kong Rida. Oo. Kasi nga naman, tinatambak sa kanila doon yung mga relocation ng housing, and then yung tubig nila niliitan. Mm -hmm. So, uh, naging problema ang matindi nila yan. Right. Okay. Eh, dahil, dahil dyan, it has already become a national uh, emergency, itong mm -hmm. kakulangan ng tubig. Oo nga. Ang uh -oh. Actually, nagsimula ito nga dahil nga dyan, ano, uh -oh. na nawala ng tubig. Ito lang, uh -oh. last year, no? Uh -oh. uh, I think there was a time last year na nagrasyon dito sa Manila. Uh Oo, -oh, nagrasyon Metro talaga. Manila. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So ngayon, I think that is the one that triggered also yes. the, the review of the contract, uh -oh. di ba? At tama naman. Uh -oh. Ito ngayon ang mga tanong. So himayin natin yan, uh, Attorney Larry. So, first, is it irregular to extend uh, the contract ng mga water concessionaires natin to 2037, even before its expiration date, it's, which is 2022? It's, it's irregular. It's, uh, 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 at the onset, it's irregular. Because Bakit hindi pa naman? na natapos yung contract. At tagal-tagal pa, i-renew nyo na ngayon. Uh, ano naman ang ibig sabihin niya? Kinargahan ba sila dyan? Bakit na kailangan nila i-renew ngayon? And not only that, uh, they have failed 
to uh, perform their obligation to put up the uh, sewage treatment plants. Yes. And then, ang taas-taas ng para ng kanilang singela, imagine, sinasabi nila 7% lang daw yung kanilang uh, uh, profit. Eh, ang Bloomberg sinasabi 42% ang kanilang profit. So, uh, between them na self-serving statements and Bloomberg, I'd rather believe uh, Bloomberg. Oh, second, I, I think meron provision sa batas natin, oh, oh. lalo na tungkol sa public utilities, oh, ano, oh. that you cannot go beyond 12%. Yes, oh. Kasi pag lumagpas ka doon, aba, oh, sobra na yun, di ba? Oh, sobra na. Oh. Kaya nakita mo, uh, yung sinasabi nila na losses nila nung uh, a total of 11 uh, uh, million or almost 12 uh, Uh, billion, billion yes. na naging uh, uh, ruling doon sa kanila arbitration. Sa Singa Singapore, uh, Singapore arbitration. Singapore arbitration. Eh, hindi naman talaga actual losses yun na lugi, kundi yung hindi lang nila na singil. Eh, it's a profit that uh, uh, was not realized. Oo, but uh, they said kasi it was included in the the contract, the provisions of the contract. But eh, yun na mahirap same. eh. Yun oh, na yung mahirap pero, eh. Kasi talaga napaka-onerous ng contract. Pero Imagine, ang naging nila, role lang nila, uh -oh. ang naging role lang nila is computing kung magkano ibabayad mo, papatungan nila yung uh, singil sa'yo, and yet, wala naman silang ginawa talagang superstructure that will improve the services. Mm -hmm. No? Dahil na yung kagaya ng mga water supply na yan. Yan pa yung mga water supply system nung panahon pa ni Presidente Marcos. Eh, sabi nila kasi... Wala naman sila naging, naging improvement dyan. Okay, so let's see. Uh, part of uh, what they are asking for in payment, di ba? Pag binasa mo yung bill mo sa water, yung SDP, uh -oh. di ba? And they said na yung sewerage na yon uh -oh. na treatment plant, uh -oh. ay dapat sila ang magtatayo nun. Uh -oh, para dapat hindi pumunta sa Manila Bay, uh -oh, uh -oh. para hindi pumunta sa tribute, yung water uh -oh, tributaries tribu na. Tributaries, na. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So, ano sa yung palagay palang, mo? It's, it's, there is already a clear violation of the contract. So, mm -hmm. uh, I think the state has uh, the right to take over immediately. In fact, mm -hmm. immediately because that is provided for under the Constitution. Oh, oh. No? Uh, ano yung sa specific Article 12, na... uh, mm. specific articles, ito yung uh, Section 17 and Section 18. Oh, oh. Ang Section 18 says that in times of national emergency, when the public interest so requires, the state... Uh, may, during the emergency and under reasonable terms and prescribed by it, mm -hmm. temporarily take over or direct the operation of any privately owned public utility or business affected with public interest. Yes. This, in fact, uh, refers to a privately owned. A eh, what more yung dati ng publicly owned and then it take over mo lang because the, the management company that is supposed to take care of uh, doing a better job hindi nila naman nila na perform. Kaya mga pre-nivitalist, di ba, dapat oh, para oh, mas maganda yung gagawin oh, oh. nila kesa dun sa existing yes. ginagawa ng If gobyerno. If the Constitution uh, provides for a, a, a state takeover of a private business, If the emergency requires, if the public emergency requires, eh, what more of a public utility already owned by the government? Right. Oh, di para irerevert mo lang yung ano yung the right to manage. Pero ang sabi nila, oh, meron pa isa. Meron pa isa yung section 18. The state may, in the interest of national welfare or defense, establish and operate vital industries and upon payment of just compensation. Transfer to public ownership utilities and other private enterprises to be operated by the government. We're talking here again of another of a a private enterprise which is involved with public interest. The planning it take over the government. And what more? Itong water utilities, the public utility, which is already owned by the government. Right. Oh, Parang oh. sinabi mo lang, ay, di ka naman, ma, di mo naman ginawa yung trabaho mo eh. Ay, amin na lang. Kami na lang ulit. Ibabalik mo na lang ay, sa amin. na lang sa amin. Oh, oh. Right. So, I, I believe that there's, the uh, president can immediately take over. If, yeah, uh, if, yes, uh, if he really wants to. Oh, yes, oo. Oh. Oh. Eh, eh, eto ang sinasabi nila, um, yung mga, these are the, some of the issues being raised with uh -oh. that. Number one, matatakot daw ang mga foreign investors. Especially, especially because, eh, sabi niya, alam mo, yung contracts are uh, sacrosanct. In uh -huh. other words, hindi mo siya dapat galawin. Uh -oh. And this is needed for a level playing field. Yes. And also, to boost the morale of the investors, especially now that we have very few foreign uh -oh. direct investments. What uh -oh. is your reaction? Uh, yun ang mga, yung mga, uh, yung mga foreign investments naman dito sa atin, they're not involved with public utilities like manufacturing a car, mm -hmm. manufacturing appliances, mm -hmm. 
di ba? Or, uh, but for the future, for example, in terms of uh, finances, salimbawa, yung ating mga water concessioners ng utang, international uh -oh. din yung ano, financing nila. Uh -oh. Because sa laki ng kailangan nila, they would probably need to syndicate it to, you know, international uh, financial institutions. Uh -oh. oh, so... What do you think? Uh, sa tingin ko hindi. Ang, dahil ang, ang mga business, ang mga investors naman, nag-iisip, pagka nag-invest yan sa isang uh, country, mm -hmm. ang tinitingnan nila, yung, yung business na ma maka makukuha nila yung kanilang capital, ROI. and then ROI, and then they would earn uh, mm -hmm. profit, without really going into public utilities. Mm -hmm. Kasi unang-una, yung, yung ang, ang public utilities na na, naman natin dito na pwede mo sabi, kuryente at saka tubig, okay. no? and transportation, yes. and uh, communication. Yes. Eh, apat lang na industries yan. Eh, yung, yung namang karamihan ng industries dito na, na may mga investors tayo, foreign investors, eh, din mo sila involved sa public utilities. Mm -hmm. Di ba? In fact, I could probably say that 96% of them are involved in uh, merchandise and uh, manufacturing so and other sabihin, industries. So, it is well, not hindi, true oh, it is na not true. it will uh, have a chilling effect no, on the I foreign think investors. So. The, the, the foreign investors are not bobo. No, <laughs> sa tingin nila, matatakot sila ng ganyan. Give, oh. them, uh, give them some package, uh, an attractive package that they they will uh, get their ROI and they will earn something, they will, they, they will earn profit, I'm sure they will come here. Oh, Ang ma. problema lang kasi dito, kaya, na, kaya sila medyo uh, hindi masyadong, uh, uh, probably the, the other investors are not shy, shying, are, are shying, shying away, away from oh. the... Uh, Philippines is because ang taas-taas kasi ng kuryente natin. Oh, oh. Tapos ang taas-taas ng tubig. Oh, oh. And ang, ang telecommunications natin ay napaka-bagal. Yung mga, yeah, oh, yung those, mga, the, those support, are necessary. Oh. Uh, uh, mm. Facilities are, are uh, very poor. No? Unlike in other countries, uh, you can go. Oh, in that's fact, true. Imagine yung Burma, which is only about four years uh, Myanmar, old. Uh, uh, Myanmar, oh, oh, no? oh. Four years old pa lang sila na, na independent country. And yet, Talong-talo tayo sa communications. Oo nga, oh. no? Oo. But, uh, okay, balik oh. tayo ngayon sa pinag-uusapan natin. How do you legally get out of a, an onerous contract? And sabi nila, dapat daw kung meron nakita na violation, idaan daw sa ang the proper procedure would be to go to the courts. Ah, hindi katulad ng ginagawa ng presidente natin. But, before you react to that, again, Attorney Larry okay. Gadon, we'll have to pause for a break. Congress Diaries will be back. Stay with us. Good evening and welcome back to Congress Diaries. Our guest for tonight, Attorney Lorenzo Larry Gadon, who is answering all the hot issues uh, for tonight, especially for uh, the uh, honorous contracts or so-called honorous contracts. Attorney Gadon, we left a question hanging earlier. Yes. Um, and uh, your answer, you said, will be very, very interesting. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Ang sinasabi dito sa Section 17 ng uh, Constitution, Article 12, is that uh, in times of national emergency, mm -hmm. there is already a national emergency mm -hmm. because the water rationing is already uh, here, di ba? Mm -hmm. oh. When the public interest so requires, the state may, during the emergency, mm -hmm. 
during the emergency. But it has not been declared, Attorney Larry. Well, so baka oh, inaantay nila na i-declare mo muna na state oh, of ay, emergency. Hindi uh, uh, yun lang ang gagawin siyempre. Kung, kung, kung ako talaga kay Presidente Duterte, mm -hmm. then I will declare it. There is a national emergency. Mm -hmm. How come that in 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 uh, state of calamities, eh, kahit yung mayor or yung governor pwede mag-declare? Eh, but in, eh, this, ito, in this instance, it has to be the president. Yes, it has to be the president. So, sasabihin ng presidente, uh, mm -hmm. there is an emergency we have been suffering the pe people have been suffering for uh, lack of water there is an emergency therefore i invoke section 17 of the constitution and invoke section 18 of the constitution i will take over pwede oh, 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 pwede, pwede. And let them eh, di bahala silang magdemanda kung gusto but, nila etong, but in the meantime that, is, that there is an emergency uh, the, the president can take over. Another lawyer guest of mine in a different show, uh -oh. ano, uh, and now Congressman, Congressman Rufo said that the proper procedure uh, should be to go to the courts. What no, is your this reaction? is not an ordinary contract. In an ordinary private contract, pwede. pwede. Uh -oh. uh, a contract between me and you, you mm -hmm. manufacture something, I will buy it, okay. Mm -hmm. But this time, there is a public interest involved. In fact, this is yes. a national interest. And um, the Constitution says that in times of national emergency, when the public mm -hmm. interest so requires that state may, during the emergency, pwede na, wala namang sinabi dito na in times of national emergency, the president should go to the court and file a petition to revoke the contract. Walang sinabing ganon. Uh, alam mo, sa interpretation ng batas, mayroon kami sinasabi dyan na what is excluded is not included or what is not included is excluded. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. The, the, the words here are very, very clear. Right. Very no? clear, yes. In times of emergency, magpa-file ka pa. Eh, eh, what if it will take 10 years bago may resolve yan? And I'm uh -oh. sure uh, because of the overflowing money of uh, these oligarchs, eh pwede nilang pahabain ng sampung taon yung issue na yan. Mm -hmm. Eh, how can you react to the saka, national emergency? Papano, o, oh, o, oh, kung baga, oh. hindi na viable option ang... Oh, hindi na viable option oh, yun. Oh, oh. Eh, eh, wa, wa, wala rin nangyari. In fact, if you will do that, you will only extend the contract unnecessarily. Kasi ang sasabihin ng ano niya... Status quo. Oh, status quo tayo. Oh. Hindi mo pwede i-revoke yung contract. Oh, and, and therefore... It has an automatic extension because there is a case in uh, because there is a pending case. Oh nga. There's another issue, uh, Attorney Larry. Yung sinasabi nila na yung sa under the provisions of this said contract, ano, the uh, government cannot intervene on how much the two companies can charge a consumer. Your reaction? Yun, yun pa nga mahirap eh. Alam mo talaga sinadya yung contract na yun at ganyan mm. eh. That makes it on the rules. Mm -hmm. Imagine, this is a public utility. Mm -hmm. Eh, yun yung, ano, yun yung uh, kuryente. Meron tayo, di ba, ang... Uh, ERB. Uh, ERB. Energy no? Regulatory oh, Board. Energy uh, Regulatory Board. Uh, yung gasoline, meron din silang, uh, yung Energy Re Regulatory Board covered din yan. Oo. Oh, oh. eh, and then, itong water... MWSS, hindi oh, ba? Oo. Oh. Oh, itong water, hindi mo pwede i-regulate. Oh, oh. Oh. So, uh, what is the function now of MWSS oh, kung hindi kung, sila kung hindi siya oh, oh. Oh. Alam mo, ginawa talaga yung kontratang yan because the people who drafted that contract and made it possible or concluded that contract, eh, yun din yung mga tauhan ng mga oligarko ngayon, eh, di ba? Oo, oh, oh, but, oh. okay, there's, uh, from, you know, sentiments ng business community, sabi nila, Attorney Larry, ito daw, kontrata na ito. Ang nag-draft naman nito are yung mga consultants ng government. Uh -oh. So, yung mga hinayar na government councils. At the time of the drafting and review of that uh, contract, before it was awarded. Uh -oh. So, ano ang masasabi mo? Diyan, uh, sabi nila, naman, sila, sila rin ngayon yung nakaupo na mga mga uh, executives ng mga companies mm -hmm. na yan. They came from the government. They uh, 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 help uh, uh, draft the contract and uh, negotiate the contract and after conclude the contract. Term, and then after their term, sila, nagtrabaho din sila dun sa mga oligarchs na yan. Oh, diba? Kakapal na mukha nila. No? <laughs> 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 Hindi ba merong batas dyan na may prohibition? Well, Pero actually, dapat ni, yan. Isang taon lang ang prohibition Ay, dyan. Hindi, dapat Gusto mo bang dapat uh, extend yan, or ano, lifetime, uh, na, lifetime yan. na ban? Oh, oh. oh. It's very unethical. <laughs> very unethical. Oo nga. What uh, very it? immoral. Ha? Oh, absolutely. Kung ikaw gumawa ng contract, binigay mo lahat ng pabor doon, after ng term mo, magtatrabaho Nilipat ka presidente ka doon. Nilipat ka na doon, eh, di ba? Oh, oh. it's, uh, it's very obvious na bayad sa kanila yan for mm -hmm. their uh, uh, 
uh, and nationalistic services. Oo uh, nga. So uh, is this also... And patriotic services. Oo. Oh, oh. So uh, ganito, ang tanong dyan, Attorney Larry, is this, does this comprise regulatory capture Yes, then? that's a reg regulatory capture. Oh, Kasi, oh. Uh, kinuha po na nila yung, ano, eh, yung kontrata. Eh. Mm -hmm. And then, sila rin yung makikinabang. In the oh, end. Oo nga. Oh. Pero sabi naman nila that, you know, at up to now, meron pa tayo, inangyayari pa rin yan. Sad to say, even if we have a president like uh, President Duterte right now, meron pa rin mga ahensya na, you know, that still has uh, their actual bosses that are um, from private businesses. Oh, oh. What do you think? Oh, Paano pero... natin... Oh, pero hi, sila naman, wala naman silang ganong, wala naman silang mga exit ganong... Exit program. <laughs> exit pro, Wala silang mga ganong iniwanan na legacy of, uh, uh, ano, of uh, onerous contracts. Mm -hmm. Some of them are from the government, but uh, when they transfer to private sectors, hindi naman sila yung involved doon sa mga kagaya nito, mga onerous contracts na ito. So, ibig sabihin nun, do you think that there is a need for maybe to introduce some amendments uh, on existing laws or maybe to introduce a new law, uh, you know, because uh, in the light of uh, what is happening yes, now? Yes, so, dapat. Yung, yung one-year na prohibition, and it should be uh, uh, lifetime. Oo, Oo yun ang dapat na ano. Oo, that's one, ano? Oo, 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 Oo. dapat Oo. dapat yun. Actually, sinabi nga ni Kong Kasi I'm sure nung, ano, ay nako, I'm, ano, sasabihin nila, wala akong ebidensya, pero I'm sure nung ginawa nila yung mga kontrata na yan, na sa isip na nila yan, na, oh yeah, yeah, hire ka naming presidente after your term. Ibig sabihin nun. Kaya nun, gandahan mo na yung kontrata. Meron na silang connivance, Oo, may connivance yan. Gandahan mo na yung kontrata, kumita tayo malaki, para pag ikaw na yung presidente dito, o ikaw ang chairman of the board, eh, malaki din ang sweldo mo. Oo nga, Oo. Oh, Siyempre, that, that's really Hindi sad, naman tayo no? bobo para ano yun yan eh. Oo, oh, eh, simple lang yan. Oh, yan. Oh, oh, oh. But what about the other contracts? Sabi kasi nila, pinag-iinitan daw ang, uh, ni Presidente, several big names lang, like oh, Mayalas, oh. you know, si Pangilinan, di ba? Oh, oh. So, and the Lopeses, di ba? But um, now, meron pang lumalabas na ibang uh, supposedly onerous deals din, di ba? Oh, oh, oh. Yung Chevron at saka yung sa UP uh, Techno Hub. Hub. Oh, oh, oh. What's your take on this? Well, okay. Yung UP Techno Hub, mm. talagang ano yan, sobrang... Garapal. Garapal. <laughs> Kasi lumalabas siya upon, uh, in the investigation of uh, mm -hmm. RJ Nieto, who is also known as Thinking Pinoy. Mm -hmm. no? Hindi lang siya blogger, ah, he's a, a, a columnist in uh, Manila Bulletin. No? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yung, yung, he found out that ang, the, the, the rental rate is only 21%. Pesos per square meter. In UP Town Center, ha? Mm -hmm. uh, in UP uh, Techno Hub, uh, Techno Hub. Oh. imagine mo, prime property yan. Mm -hmm. Iba naman yung Chevron. Yung Chevron kasi, uh, in, in uh, the 1935 Constitution, uh, the US uh, has a parity rights. Uh, right, yes. Equal rights with the, the Filipinos, Correct. diba? Yes. So they can own lands. Yes. They can own real right. properties. Yes. Yung Chevron, at that time, Talagang binili na nila yung lupa na yun dyan, yung sa Lemery, Batangas. And mm -hmm. at that time, wala naman nakatira dyan. Lib-lib yan. In fact, kung ako gobyerno, I can even give it to them so that they can operate this uh, 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 refinery uh, plants, di ba? Mm -hmm. Eh, kailangan natin yung gasolina eh. Mm -hmm. There is a national need. There is, that is a national need, yung, yung gasoline. Ay, kaysa mo wala tayong, wala tayong gasolina, paano tayo unlad? Eh, itong, itong UP uh, Techno Hub, iba yan. Wala mm -hmm. namang national interest dyan eh. eh UP interest dyan eh, di ba? Mm -hmm. Oo. Eh, at saka, yung, yung, yung Chevron kasi, nung dumating yung 1973 Constitution, ipinagbawal na yung, ano, yung uh, ownership of lands yes. by uh, foreigners Foreign, yes. o foreign entities and foreign, mm -hmm. uh, foreign uh, individuals. Mm -hmm. Ang nangyari dyan, Dati ng kanila yon, binili na nila eh. So, ang, so, ang ginawa, nagkaroon na lang arrangement na i-revert nila to back, revert back to uh, uh, the Philippines, mm -hmm. to, to the government, and then with that agreement that sila yung maglilis. But on a very uh, reasonable uh, fees, kasi nga naman, amin na ito eh. Oh. In the first place, oh, in the first place because, uh, we, we own this. Oh, ibabalik namin sa inyo, i-rent namin. Pero yung consideration naman ng rent, maliit lang. Ah. And not only that, eh, kailangan natin yung refinery plan, sure. di ba? Oh, and not only that, liblib yung lugar na yun. Wala nakatira doon dati. Eh, attorney, 
Noon oh. siguro, nung panahon na yun, nung oh. binigay, liblib talaga yun. Oh, liblib talaga Pero yun. ngayon, no, because hindi of na. That, oh, because oh. of the refinery, nag-sprout na yung communities doon. Okay, so we'll talk oh, about... In fact, nakabuti pa nga yung Chevron na yun eh. Ganun ba? O oh. oh, sige, so we will so, talk... Eh, they cannot blame President Marcos on that. Oo nga, so teka muna. Dati na, oh, oh. even before Marcos became president, pag-aari na talaga ng Chevron oh, we, yun. We, we will talk about that more. Uh, we will come back after this break. Stay with us. Mga isyung pinag-uusapan, mga palitang laman ng pahayagan, impormasyong dapat niyong malaman, tatalakayin, pupusisiin, at hihimayin ni Mario Garcia kasama ang kanyang mga panauhin sa harap ng bayan. Face Off! Good evening and welcome back to Congress Diaries. Our guest tonight, the irrepressible attorney Lorenzo Gadon. So, attorney yeah, no, Lorenzo okay, no. Larry. <laughs> oh, so, medyo mainit na yung issue. Uh -oh. Sabi mo nga kanina, yung sa Chevron, iba ang kanyang... Iba sitwasyon nun. Oo, oh, iba oh. sa UP Techno Hub. Oh. So, are you saying then that there's no onerous uh, deal that, in, that Chevron. in the Chevron? Yes, there's oh. no onerous eh, deal. Ang findings ng uh, DOF natin under Secretary Carlos Dominguez oh. says otherwise. Oh, eh, eh siyempre. Kasi alam mo, sa totoo lang, ito si Secretary Tari Dominguez, original yellow yan eh. So, he would protect uh, the Aquinos. Grabe ka uh, naman. And itong, uh, is, kaya kita mo, nung, bin, nung nakikita na itong contracts with Ayala, itong Tecno Hub, ganyan, he is coming to the rescue of the Ayalas and biniblame ngayon si Marcos. Ikaw naman. If you, will, if you will look at the history of Chevron, makikita mo, even before Marcos became president, pag-aari na ng Chevron yan. Oo, okay. Pero I disagree oh. with you naman on uh, the uh, Secretary, Gad uh, Secretary Dominguez. Uh -oh. Alam mo, Attorney Gadon, siguro, let Let's just say that he is looking at it from the same point of view that the president has ordered them. Ay, hindi ba? Magkaiba yung, magkaibang, so, magkaibang. ibig mo sabihin, personal yung kanyang interest doon? Oo, oh, personal yan. yan. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is, uh, he wants to uh, uh, put some peanut butter coating on this uh, Ayala uh, Kasi polyester contrast. Kasi dinadivert niya yung issue. Dinadivert oh, lang niya. Oh. Oh, Pero oh. Eh, hindi mo naman pwedeng i-compare talaga. Napakalayo. Unang-unang. Okay. Unang, unang, una, kailangan natin ng refinery, mm -hmm. di ba? Eh, pwede mo ba masabihin sa akin kong Kim na kailangan natin ng mall dyan sa UP? Is, is, is there a need? Talaga? Oo, magkaibang, magkaiba is it, talaga. Is it to our national interest that there should be a mall inside UP? <laughs> Oo nga, pero oh. ito naman. Oh, now, is oh. it uh, to our national interest that there should be a refinery plant so that yung gasolina natin hindi masyadong magiging mahal. Imagine if we will import all our uh, And finished no products of oil. Oh. Oh. Kung wala tayong refinery dito, oh. eh di siyempre baka nagdoble na yung oh, presyo. Na, Gadon, na. Ha, I'll have to oh. ask this. Ha. Hindi ka oh. naman abogado ng Chevron. Oh, hindi, hindi. Hmm. Uh, baka actually, mamaya. Actually nga, uh, isa pa nga yan eh. Oh. If you will remember, uh, si President Marcos, mm -hmm. uh, the late President Marcos, uh, put up this Filipinas Petron mm -hmm. so that he can uh, check uh, the prices of uh, pump, the pump prices of uh, right. gasoline. Yes. Yes. Kasi yes. nga, dahil meron tayong Pilipinas Petro noon, eh, uh, ang mangyayari, hindi makakapagtataas ng sobra itong Caltex yes. uh, mo mobile at saka itong uh, uh, Shell, di ba? Along with the nangyari, binenta nila Corey at saka nila FBR yung uh, Petron. <laughs> oh, yan, De, no? Oo nga naman. Ah, ang dami-dami dami talagang distraction na ginawa ang EDSA 1 at mga Aquino sa Ito ating naman bansa. ang sasabihin sa iyo ng mga ano, ng mga oh. criticize mo ngayon. Oh. Eh sinasabi mo sila na doon da, original na dilawan. Sabihin nila, eh ikaw naman, Marcos loyalist ka. Oh, oh. Eh, eh, now, People now realize na tama pala si Presidente Marcos. <laughs> o, ala, lahat ng nangyayari ito, yung mga owner's contracts na yan, uh -huh. o, yan yung dahilan kung bakit na gusto nilang mapaalis si Presidente Marcos noon. O, nung, na, nung nawala si Presidente Marcos, Dib ayan, nag nagwala na sila lahat. O, naging lahat ng kawalang yaan, nangyari na. <laughs> lahat ng kawalan, sa kuryente, sa tubig, uh, nangyari na lahat, no? Oh, o, ngayon na nare-realize ng tao. So, I am proud to be a Marcos Lois because ako, oh, Hindi ako kasi bobo ng mga dilawan okay, dyan. Okay, so we, we will not go there, uh, Attorney Larry. So anyway, kung sa Congress naman, looking at the point of view of congressmen, iba-iba rin ang pananaw na natin dyan eh, no? sa, sa amin because I came from Congress. no. Pero ito yung isang tanong ko, from, your, from a legal standpoint, tama ba yung ginagawa na yung 
yung business taxes, uh -oh. concession fees, uh -oh. debt servicing, among others, be passed on to the consumers? Tama Hindi ba yun? dapat yun eh. Kaya, ka, kaya kang, uh, uh, di ba, ka, uh, take for example, itong, ano, itong uh, sa water concessioners. Mm. Kaya nga, di ba, sinasabi, eh, kaya binigay sa'yo yung concession, mm. kasi may kapital ka. That is supposed to be the uh, first consideration for Correct. giving you the contract. May kapital ka. Eh, nangyari ngayon, hihiram din pala sila ng kapital. And then, yung ibabayad nila doon sa, sa nilo nila, manggagaling din sa consumers. In fact, even the interest. Pero, nailibre na nila yung kanilang profit at saka yung kanilang uh, ano, uh, income. Right. Oo. So, nasan yung justice doon? There's no social justice in that. Oo, because lumalabas na nagbabayad na yung consumer, pinataksan, o, yung tax, pass on pa nila. Dalawang taxes binabayaran ng consumer. Yung taxes na dahil kinukuha nila yung service nitong concessionaire na to. Pangalawa, yung dahil sa taxes ng mga may-ari. Nung may-ari, ng income. Yung income tax. Biro mo, pass on pa rin sa, ano yun. Eh, di ang lumalabas yan, libre sila sa tax. Kasi yung nagbabayad, yung tao pa rin. O oh, hindi ba dapat, oh. um, according to the laws, existing laws that we have right now, oh. we, uh, is there now a need to introduce more laws, especially for this one? Oh. At saka dapat plunder naman yan, hindi oh, ba? Oo, plunder talaga yan. Oo, oh, oh. eh. Eh, hindi, kung maalala mo, ha, eh. ito, ito oh. uli, ha, masasabi na uli natin to. Unlike nung time ni President Marcos, mm -hmm. yung Meralco, di ba, nung tinikover yan ng government, ang nangyari nun, people became the owners. Mm -hmm. Para alala mo, nakakatanggap tayo ng cheque noon every end of the year for our dividends as owners of Miralco. Mm -hmm. Eh nung mapatalsik ulit si Presidente Marcos, binalik na naman sa mga Lopez na walang bayad dyan. Ano nangyari pati yung ganong benefit natin na wala? Oh, oh. nga. Nako, speaking, oh. speaking of which, ano, there's also uh, that issue uh, oh. right now, pending oh, yeah, in Congress, yeah, yeah. yung yeah. renewal ng franchise. Oh, oh. Um, according to, um, you know, some, kasi sabi nila, hindi mo pwedeng uh, isuppress ang oh. media. Eh, hindi which mo means, suppression of media. Oh, oh, so, yung press freedom, sinasabi nila. So, himayin natin, uh, Attorney Larry, mm -hmm. itong ang franchise, It's a basic, it's a basic government, ta ano yun, right? Basic government right. In fact, nakalagay ngayon sa Constitution din eh. In fact, even in in even in the 1973 Constitution, nakalagay yun eh. Oo nga. Pero sinasabi niya yun, basic, ha, up to now, basic uh -oh. government right to give a franchise or yes, not, so diba? In fact, ang franchise nga should not, be, should not yun, be eh. more than 50 years. Okay, well, nire-renew naman siya talaga. Well, um, pero pag nire-renew niya, another application, and right. another for yes. another terms uh -oh. of uh, through, reference. Through, through Congress. Oh, 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 through oh. Congress. So, but, oh, eto nga yung, gina, yung sinasabi ngayon, this is the issue now in Congress. Um, ang ABS-CBN, nagpa-file ng uh, renewal ng franchise dahil tapos oh, oh. na yung prangkisa nila eh. Oh, oh. Sabi ni Presidente, hindi pwede. Oh, oh. Kasi marami na kayong uh, binayulate. Oh, oh. O una, hindi kayo nagbayad. Oh, oh. Uh, and all of those. Oh, But oh. according to, um, um, well, yung those in support of uh, oh, oh. the renewal of the franchise, mm -hmm. number one, hindi mo naman makikita kasi una, binayaran daw oh, oh. Uh, ng uh, ng ABS-CBN, yung kanilang utang oh. through the SPAV, yung uh, special purpose asset vehicle. Oh, oh. Pangalawa, pati yung taxes daw binayaran. Ayan yung hindi pa natin alam, ano? kasi wala pa akong nabasa na, na any Meron? article or mm -hmm. news na binayaran nila yan. Mm -hmm. And uh, if uh, there were payments, dapat BIR ang mag-announce na binayaran na talaga to At ipakita nila yung payment. Hindi, merong, no? merong lumabas uh, recently na nagbayad sila ng mga kanilang taxes, no? Uh -oh. Parang mga to the tune of a, a, a little over a hundred million. Pero Ay, kulang yun. Eh, kasi di ba ang laki ng utang pa nila? Oo. Oh, oh. oh, And that's just the, the taxes. Oh, oh. Uh, ang ang pinag-uusapan, ang sabi ni Presidente, yung ano eh, yung utang mo doon sa loan mo. Oh, apart oh. from the taxes. Oo, oh, oh, apart so, from the taxes. Pero bayad na raw yun. Anong sa uh, yun, uh, Wala akong knowledge yan kung talagang bayad yun o hindi. Pero as I've said, wala pa akong nabasang information na binayaran talaga nila yun. Mm -hmm. Oo. But don't you think, um, you know, they say that this is uh, an infringement on press freedom? Ah, sa tingin ko hindi. Bakit? Kasi ang dami-dami ng mga existing uh, TV stations, ang dami-dami mga TV networks. In fact, maraming e -e even sa mga social media o hindi naman pinipigilan yan eh. So mm -hmm. the press freedom is very much alive. And oh. We are talking here about business permit 
franchise. No? Mm -hmm. it, it has nothing to do with press, press freedom. And not only that, eh, marami silang violations na ginawa. Eh. Mm -hmm. Ginamit nila yung uh, ABS-CBN to malign na President Marcos. Kasi nga, yung pala yung purpose nila, patansikin niya para ano. Attorney uh, Larry, na kay President Duterte na tayo ngayon. Eh, so. oh, eh, ganun din, minamalign din nila sa si Presidente Duterte mm -hmm. with uh, all this news about EJK and the uh, Uh, basta news kina Delima, kila Trillanes, talaga hina-highlight nila. Mm -hmm. no? Anything that is negative on the president, hina-highlight nila. Okay, so... Uh, actually, ano, Kong Kim, I have mm -hmm. lots of friends in ABS-CBN. Mm -hmm. oh, pero, sorry to say this, but uh, I, I am with the president on this decision. Okay. Renew. So, And if there are congressmen who are pushing, eh, siguro... Mga 11 daw sila nag-file ng ano eh, ng, ng uh, bill ah, talaga? for renewal. Oo. Oh, oh. oh. well, I hope table, hindi sila eh. binayaran. No? <laughs> okay. So, actually, ang next question... Kung kasi yung babayaran, mahina 30 million each dyan. Ah, ah mahina yun? Bariano. Oh. De, pero ang tanong natin dyan... I hope dyan, hindi. Oo, no? oh, oh, but Attorney Larry, you also have to look at the plight of the workers of uh, ABS-CBN. Oh. But, before you answer that question, we will be right back. Stay with us, please. The Philippines has been around for centuries. Malayo na rin ang narating natin. But back then, the way of life has been mostly analog. Did you know that you need to take a boat from Cavite in order to go to Manila? Yes, ganon ang takbo ng buhay dati. You need to send a letter to the United States? Sure, pero aabutin ka ng isang buwan bago matanggap ang iyong liham. Kailangan mong tumawag sa bahay o sa iyong kaibigan? Many ways to do that. Pwede ka maghulog ng tatlong 25 sa payphone or use that vintage rotary phone na most likely 6 digits lang ang landline number. Forget about email. Telex at fax machine ang modes of communication for business. You want to listen to that one song of your favorite band on repeat? Sorry, pero kailangan mong i-rewind ang cassette tape. Buong album naman ang kailangan mong bilhin, kahit iisang kanta lang ang gusto mo doon. But things change, and we as a race progress. The world is getting small. We are now a traveling population. Why? Because travel is now cheap. Our friends are across the world because our form of communication is now borderless. Time zones are now meant to serve as a guide and not as a limitation. We can buy things from the comfort of our homes. Nasanay na tayo sa convenience because why not? It is the price of development and the glimpse of our future. Have you imagined the future? How do you think it will look like? Driverless cars? Yes, autonomous driving will happen. Robots replacing low-value processes done by humans? Tama ka dyan. Paying for your groceries using digital currency? Very realistic. Materials being 3D printed instead of ordering? Yes, we are indeed a progressive race. And technology plays a vital and crucial part of it. How will this affect our lives? Kailangan ba natin itong matutunan? Mahirap ba itong aralin? Or kaya naman? How can our nation take advantage of these advancements? All of these can be understood and learned tayo nang matuto para umunlad, nandito na ang Abante. Progress through technology. Good evening and welcome back to Congress Diaries. This is the last uh, segment of our episode for tonight and our guest is still Attorney Larry Gadon. So, Attorney Larry, ito yes, naman uh, ang question. Oh, oh, oh. Oo, eh yung mga, sabi nila, kawawa din naman daw yung mga empleyado. You know, I think The, that company has more than 11,000 employees, okay. regular or otherwise, yes. diba? So, paano naman yon? Don't we also have to think about their plight? Well, pagka halimbawa ay nawala na yung abs -CBN, I'm sure they will be absorbed by other uh, ano, networks. Oh, actually, kami, bukas kami need, dito. We, we Magkakaroon ng need, uh -huh. diba? May nagsara, may merong lalaki, no? And pag laki ng iba, I'm sure uh, they will need uh, lots of uh, human resource uh, requirements. Mm -hmm. so, And uh, uh, sa pagkakaalam ko rin naman, hindi na naman talaga masyadong naging uh, uh, makatarungan at patas ang uh, management ng ABS-7 when it comes to treating their people. In fact, ang dami-dami nga nilang kaso sa NLRC, uh, labor cases. Oo. Oo. And not only that, 
walang mga benefits yung... Uh, karamihan naman sa kanila dyan, hindi naman regular eh. Talent. O, oh, mga talents na pag nagkasakit, aba, wala kayong ano dyan, wala kayong mm -hmm. assistance dyan or ano. Mm -hmm. And uh, pagka wala na yung contract nila, goodbye. O, oh. mm -hmm. So, walang ano dyan, walang so, no heart involved. Oo, oh, oh, oh. in, in other words, trabaho lang, no? oh, walang personalan, oh. ganon. Oo oh, nga. So, no heart and emotions para sa kanila. Oo oh, oh. nga. Eh, syempre, you, can, you cannot uh, remove one from the other. Oo. Oh. Oh, oh. Pagka yan ang pag-uusapan, di ba? Okay, uh, balik tayo, uh, Attorney Larry. At this point, ang dami nating nakikita na, ano, eh, na contracts that are rigged in favor of... Uh, yung the big businesses, di ba? Yes, oo. oo. So, um, what do you think is needed at this time? You know, is it just about a question of new legislation? Is it uh, just a question of amending existing uh, provisions in our law? O kailangan natin ng something more radical? And what we can do think, in the future to oh, prevent? Oh. I think uh, there should be a radical solution, particularly on the water issue and the uh, electric or power uh, mm -hmm. issue. And then, uh, dito sa uh, issues like uh, itong sa, ano, sa Techno Hub, mm -hmm. uh, pwede mo siguro idaan sa korte yan. Mm -hmm. Kasi ang, por ang pwede maging resulta niyan, pag dinaan mo sa korte yan, pwede mong singilin yung kanilang kakulangan. Mm -hmm. Whereas yung dito sa, halimbawa, immediate takeover of uh, water uh, concessionaires, no? Uh, hindi mo na siguro matitingnan na pagbayarin pa sila doon sa kanila. No? Ang importante dito, yung maayos na lang ng serbisyo sa taong bayan. Mm -hmm. they're, uh -oh. they're saying... Kasi... And then, of course, uh, there should be a law. Uh, there's, it should be, in, in fact, enshrined in the Constitution that public, public utilities cannot be uh, passed on to the private uh, uh, sector. Okay, they can, you, you know, government can partner, but you cannot... Oh, uh, you cannot totally give, up, give it uh, up, di ba? Mm -hmm. There are... Kagaya ng ganyan. Ay, ay, ito, resulta nga ito nung EDSA 1 eh. Yung lahat ng panluloko sa Pilipino. Ikaw nangyari, kaya, Lahat ng panluloko at distraction ng Pilipino nangyari because of EDSA 1 and because of the Aquinos. Oo. And together with FBR. Oo. Eh, at... si FBR naman kasi, eh, at the time, sunod-sunuran din sa Kilakori at sa, sa mga oligarko. Yeah, eh. attorney... Otherwise, yung, yung uh, protest ni... Uh, Uh, the late uh, Miriam Santiago sa Supreme Court, eh mm -hmm. baka lumabas nang hindi niya inaasahan. Because I remember at that time that oh, oh. when Corey uh, declared a revolutionary government, he, she replaced all the justices with the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. ba? Diba? So lahat yun, may utang na loob sa kanya. Eh kung, kung yung protest ni uh, Miriam noon, eh biglang manalo. Oh. Oh, nga. Kaya takot si Ramos nun eh. Oh, Kaya sunod-sunuran siya nun eh. It was also, In fact, when he, uh, when he attempted to uh, amend the Constitution, mm -hmm. eh di ba talagang binabraso siya ni Lacori na ano, na wag palitan yung Constitution. Well, uh, I, I remember uh, that distinctly. Oh, diba? Pero alam mo, ang, sa akin oh. lang, ang pananaw ko, hiwalayin natin, ano, uh -oh. um, I agree that the Constitution should have been uh, amended so many yes, years ago. Yes, ay, Diyos ko. Uh -oh. Saan ka ba naman nakakita na lang ng Constitution napakahaba? And on, 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 uh, on <laughs> issues or on matters that require uh, definite uh, uh, focus, mm -hmm. yun yung malalabo. Gray no? areas oh. lahat eh, no? Tapos, ang dami-dami oh. dami, dami provisions dito na as may be provided by law. Mm -hmm. Eh, isipin mo yun, di hindi rin pala siya pwede mo kaagad i-implement. Oo, oh, because you At need an enabling law. The love and so harmony that. of nature, mga ganon. Saan nila na ako, is this a poetry uh, book? Hindi, <laughs> no? <laughs> pero ngayon... Eh, kasi ang nangyari dyan, oh. alam mo, oh, oh. Uh, ang, 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 ang nangyari ang kasi dyan sa Constitution, ay mga crafters niya, basta pinag appoint lang ni Cory. Ay, He appointed 50 uh, constitutional uh, commission delegates. Yes. At yun na. They were not even elected by uh, uh, the but, people. Oh, but the CONCON -con is uh, supposed to be really like that, di ba? Oo, oh, yung CONCON -con dapat elected, di ba? Eh, mm. eto hindi. Oo. Oh, uh, ano? Ano lang, handpick ni Cory. Eh, di syempre yung mga hinanpick niya yan, yan yung magbibigay daan doon sa public utility takeover. Because yung, ano, it oh, wa diba? there was no Congress at that oh, time. Eh, Pangalawa, uh, revol revolutionary government. Oh, oh, tapos But you are third. Nila, oh. Oh, tapos sasabihin nila si Marcos ang diktador. In fact, si Cory ang diktador. Kasi she uh, dissolved the Constitution and she dissolved Congress oh. and the Senate. And then siya yung naglabas ng naglabas ng batas. And then lahat, ano, 
Actually, si Cory ang diktador. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so, actually, ang, ang laki ng sinira ni Cory sa ating bansa. Mm -hmm. Oh. Alam mo, uh, medyo highly debatable yan. We've been debating that all these oh. years. Ay, nako, ngayon lumalabas oh. na yung totoo. Oo oh, nga. So, Ay, ngayon, so, oh, itong problema sa traffic, sa sasakyan, sa lahat ng lack of infrastructure, mm -hmm. yung mahal ng kuryente, yung mahal ng tubig, yung lack of water supply. Ano dahilan lahat yan? Mm -hmm. Because of Cory and uh, Ed Sawan. Yun. Okay, so uh, let's let's not talk about that particular aspect uh, anymore. Looking forward, uh, Attorney Larry, ano ang pwede nating gawin? Uh, I mean, of course, uh, tayo, we can help recommend uh, laws. No? There's, uh, as a matter of fact, ngayon, napakalaki ng clamor uh -oh. for new laws, hindi ba? And to revisit the Constitution because uh, ano na yung Constitution natin, eh? Med medyo ano na siya, Jurassic na siya. Oh, Jurassic talaga. Oo, oh, kailangan na natin talaga siyang i-amend. So, I mean, for in the you know from the side of uh, the legal profession, uh, ano ba talaga ang pwede nating gawin din para to help naman our country para pag we come across contracts that are really onerous, eh makita natin siya ma-identify and we can tell uh, those na eto hindi ito pwede wag naman ganito uh -oh. and the, kasi this is a gray area attorney. dapat Larry. yan yung mga gantong kontrata dumadaan pa rin siya sa public hearing and congressional hearings. Mm -hmm. Hindi pwedeng uh, basta na i draft nila and then secretly they will uh, conclude it. Ang nangyari diyan sa mga ano na yan eh, ganun eh. Ganun ano. Oh, oh. So you think basta that, uh, na lang nila ginawa ng so, ano. So contracts involving public utilities. Yes. Oh, it should be uh, reviewed, uh, reviewed and, and it should be subjected to a public hearing. Public hearing. Yes. Uh, also that oh. the state Kung nagkaroon ng public hearing yan noon, hindi nangyari yan eh. Eh, ang MWSS daw, uh, they uh, consulted their, the stakeholders. Oh. oh. Eh, siyempre yung stakeholders, eh, pag nakita nila na, ay, sige, kikita tayo dyan, eh, di siyempre, o oh, papayag na lang yung Hindi, mga... When you say stakeholders, <laughs> man, ang gusto nila sabihin, yung mga, yung mga consumers, oh, kailan, yung, ano, kailan sila na gano, nag, pa, kailan nila ginawa yun. But that, eh, they that, never that, did that. That's the claim. Oh. Okay, meron... Kasi, oh. uh, di, kasi at that time, talagang lahat dinidikta nila, eh. Oo. Oh. Oo nga. So, At saka, isa, hindi lang naman yung water noon ang naging problema. Eh, diba? This was the time of uh, FBR, di ba? O, di ba? Pati yung, ano, yung uh, power, pati Actually, yung gasoline, di ba? during diba? this time, I think it was uh, the crisis on power. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. oh, di ba yun yung time na maraming mga barges tayo oh, dahil oh. lagi tayong may mga brownouts. Oo. Oh, hindi ba? Oo. Oh, oh. So, na natigil, na cripple din ang business noon. Na cripple talaga. How many... Bakit ba tayo nagkaroon ng mga brownout, brownout noon? Oh, Kasi yun? yung mga projects ni President Marcos para sa kuryente, pinatigil ni Cory. Anything na magiging mabuti sa tao, basta galing kay Marcos, <laughs> itinigil ni Cory. Ikaw Ay, naman. Baka nuclear plant, okay. eh, the other hydroelectric plants, lahat okay. tinigil ni Cory. Okay, so let's oh. not go there anymore. Oh. Uh, total... Anything that would credit Marcos. Oo. Oh. 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 Huwag na, huwag na hindi natin. Hindi baling mahirapan ng mga tao, hindi baling magkandaloko-loko ang bansa. Hindi basta baling... lang huwag makredit kay Marcos. Oh, Attorney Larry, let's Kaya not... ako sinusumpa ko yung mga oh, ito. Huwag eh. na, let's not go to town on that. You know? Ibalik na lang natin sa issue at hand. And that, you know, it's up for the people to decide. Nakikita naman oh, nila, sabi mo. Na, ngayon na-realize na ng mga tao, o nga oh. pala, no? ba't nga ganyan? Oo, sa, oh. kaya sa susunod, oh. na pag-guesting dito, isasama kita, yung oh. ano, side naman nila para malaman natin yeah, yung side sige, nila. Sige, sige. Oh. Okay, so maraming maraming salamat. Oh, maraming Thank you very much. Mara maraming salamat kong Kim and uh, uh, talagang nag-enjoy ako dito sa oh, ating uh, actually, discussion. Actually, we really need to come out with these issues. Hindi pwede natin to tiptoe around it. Oh, eh, hindi na po pwede oh, because eh, this really involves need... public interest. That's eh. right. Okay, so maraming salamat until next time. So, yeah. uh, once again, we'd like to thank our guest for tonight, Attorney Lorenzo Larigadon. And that is it for our episode of Congress Diaries. We will be back next week and uh, I'm your host, Kim Bernardo Lokin. I'll see you then.